Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across this beautiful blue-green globe of ours. Welcome to Real News Live. It is a Monday morning news and Gentile show. I'm your host, Mike Barrett in Las Vegas, Nevada, joined today, as I always am, every Monday and Wednesday, by the lovely lady with the lustrous hair from Hayden, Idaho, Jennifer Falad. Doreen Jensen, you're not feeling good today, are you? No, I feel crappy today. I feel crappy. So... We're going to make this short and we're going to stick to the news. And I don't think we're going to take a lot of questions at all, um, unless they're related to the news that we're going to pump out. Hang on. I just wanted to check something on my phone that I forgot to check. I lost my glasses today uh, or Saturday. Jen thinks they may be in the living room by a TV tray. So I'm going to go look there. It's one of the places I really haven't looked. We'll see, Jen. I got a feeling you're right because it's they're nowhere here where they should be. And, uh, I know exactly where everything everybody loses is in, in this house, but your house, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's weird. She's <laughs> she's not good at that. I tried to talk to Susan Gretz about it, and Susan was too busy with the tornadoes this weekend. So oh my goodness, didn't get any help there, poor Susan. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't feel good either. I got a lot of dizziness. My sinuses are just, you know, this we talked last week. My sinuses are just so inflamed and kicked up, and I think it's just the dryness. How weird is that? I go, I, I live in Seattle and the dampness and the wetness gives me sinus infections. And now I come here and now it's the dryness in the winter that's giving me sinus Well, you got, you're, you're used to one climate your entire life and then you move out to this dry, the dryness. That's why I hate the desert because it just messes me up. I mean. Yeah, yeah um, I remember uh, back when I was married, that's how long ago this was. I took, uh, took my wife to see Tom Jones and he was saying, every time I come to Vegas, my sinuses kick in, you know, I get, I get these problems. And I was like, that's weird. Actually, uh, if it's only this part of the year, though, I'm great. Because whenever I'm here, other parts, times of the year, I don't ever have any problems. So maybe it's just a maybe it's just a wintertime thing where it gets. You just have uh, to get used to it. Super extra dry. Okay, well, I'm going to go to the doctor after I do about 14 other things today. Okay, so in terms of, um, in terms of business, um, all, I, all I have for you business news all i have for you is this um i i do get to listen to a bond guy uh his conversations he said that their the bondholders paper was called in two weeks ago what that means is they submitted their bonds for checking and approval he thinks they should have been paid by now he's surprised they haven't been paid by now i checked with another source and i can't reveal what that source is until that source publicly admits it. But he said he understands that the bondholders will get their 1%, Jen, your 1% formula, the middle of by the middle of the month. That would target the 15th. So that's what a week away, four or five days away. So that's what he's heard. Interesting. And you want to think about that or? No. Got that? Okay. And then, um, and I don't, I haven't, Jen and I briefly discussed something about what's in her Gentile, but I haven't seen her Gentile yet today. Um, and I was like, I just wish something would break. And he, my source said, it is breaking. Just pay attention to it. But it's like, all these little itty bitty things don't matter. We need something big to break. Something big to the point where I can go to the bank and give them my dinar, or I can go to the exchange center and give them everything. That's what I talk about when I say I need something to break. Um, because, you know, like everybody else, I could use a little help. Now, what was that video you posted about Nader? What did he say? Nader said it will be one-to-one -one in January in Iraq. It will be one-to-one. -one. And he didn't necessarily, he said, maybe not exactly January 1st, but I think pretty close to January 1st. And, uh, you know, he's a little hard to understand with his accent and there was all this other noise. But he said he is hearing it will be one-to-one -one in Iraq no later than January. Then they have to the RV. Yeah. Before that. Yep. And that's what he was saying too, is the good news for you is they have to do the rest of the RV before that. Also, we've always thought it was going to be one-to-one -one in Iraq. Um, oh, in that. 
for them in country. So if you have, you know, if you have dollars, you can exchange those for, for dinars, LV one one, which will still be a very beneficial, profitable thing for the people in Iraq. And international rates are going to be different. Even if, but even if it was one to one internationally, I'd be like, here you go, give me my some odd million uh, dollars, and I'll go fix, I'll go, go pay off my bills and fix, you know, get some better Christmas decorations and buy another house. So. That's what he said yesterday. Um, and I don't have any updates on that this morning. I do have some information on my phone. I haven't checked it yet. I just haven't felt good enough. Dizzy, I got inflamed sinuses. I'm got to go to the doctor. I got to go to urgent care after this. Um, what do I think of Willie Streber? I think he's a very dignified man. Um, who I always had the pleasure of getting to know a little bit in October. Um, I think he's been fed a lot of bullshit by his alien buddies. And um, I wish he could move out of this Democrats good, Republicans bad mindset that he's in because it's wrong, but have incredible respect for him um, and what he's been through. And he deserves better treatment than all the jokes that he gets. So, all right. Um, so, Jennifer. I'm putting together, I'm trying to put together what I got to try and make some sense, but uh, I don't know. You want to hear it? Let's hear the Jen tell. And then, guys, we got to get out of here because Jen's got to get back to bed and I, I got to get. I oh, I get. can't get back to bed. I got people. Yeah, I got, up, a, I, just, I got a I bunch of business like, to take see. care of. I got a bunch of phone calls to make. And like, why do you He's think I have $21? Dumbasses. Anyway, and then um, <laughs> and then uh, and I got to go to the doctor. Jen, Jen needs to get some rest. So, okay, let, let's hit it. Let me get your Gentel banner. Hang on. All right. Your okay. Okay, Gentel. Impaired this morning, but I really tried. Okay, so I went in interdimension. This is Gentel for December eleventh. It's eleventh, right? Yep. All right, December eleventh. <laughs> Uh, 2023 interdimensional meditation with Archangel Michael and Gabriel. I went and met them in the gazebo, which is by the field in front of the house. Um, six level of heaven. RV news. So I sat down, I talked to Gabriel, Michael, and the gazebo, and Michael was talking. He was talking about something that sounded like Pan Pacific. Now, I didn't know what that was, and so I Googled it later, but um, Pan Pacific. And he also said in that, when he was trying to tell me, instrument, Pan Pacific instrument. And then um, kind of got a little clearer, and um, he said, tier four has begun. Tier four has begun. Confetti and whistles going off. It has begun, he says. Um, Confetti and whistles going off, really? Yes. Could okay. take a week to get notifications. So don't panic if you don't see anything. Um, the goal is to have them out by the end of this week. That is the goal. Okay. Um. There was a delay last week. Now, this is interesting from the, what you got. Mm -hmm. And he said it was waiting for a transaction to fund. Um, it has funded and is not a problem now. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> what transaction? Uh, Gabriel broke in and said banks. Now, remember what I told you about the 1%? Yeah. How they're not just saying because you got you got notes, you got uh gold back currency in the treasury account, mm -hmm. and they're gonna give you one percent. Well, that's an actually like a loan, okay? And that's through the big banks, and that's why we had to keep the big banks and we had to have them in charge of doing this or being paired up with the people who are doing the exchanges or the redemption, uh, because they're the ones who are going to load out the 1%. Okay. Right. And that's going to go in your holding account. Well, and we were talking about the big 
um, the bond people. And we're talking about these big church groups and all this stuff. Well, I don't think now individually, if you have bonds, that would make sense mm -hmm. that they're waiting for a big amount of money to come in so they can fund the 1%. That makes sense now. Okay. Then. Okay. So we had, and Gabriel told me that Donald Trump will make a call. He will make the call. And he will decide when to pull out the actor due to illness. The plan is to do this in the coming week. So this week, I'm not sure if they say coming week and I always like, okay, so I'm not sure if this is this week or next week. I kind of, I felt like it was next week. Um, <laughs> the exit is planned and underway. Um, hopefully I don't get trouble for that. Um, so Pan, so we got Pan Pacific instrument. Transaction delay last week. It funded 1% possibly. Was it for the bonds? Possibly. But it did have something to do with the banks. Now, Pan Pacific was, I'm trying to figure out how that fits in because that's when we were talking about what's going on with the RV. There we is also did talk about a partnership, Pan Pacific partnership. It's something <laughs> going on. There is a planned tr Pan Pacific trade partnership, which Donald Trump, I believe, pulled us out of um, when he was president. And it was going to be a China dominated. Well, that might have been what's getting in the way or was. Mm -hmm. Because it was the first thing he talked about. Then we went on to talk about what the delay was and that it was a, um, it was a large transaction. Right. <clears throat> that needed to be funded. So you guys put that together, but. Ding, ding, ding. Tier four has begun. Right. could start tier four until they got that transaction in. So I'm saying, I don't know, boatloads of money. Yeah. Uh, to the banks. Um, hang on a second. Um, yeah, because here, and again, this makes sense. What you just said made sense. I didn't think of it this way. They have to have the big banks. They had to keep the big banks in spite of how corrupt they were. Because they needed them to fund these huge tranches of money. In other words, the bank has to be big enough to handle these huge transactions or to, to be able to pass off to people to show people, well, you know, we just loaned $500 million for this humanitarian project or something. So it has to be convincing. Um, you have to have the, you have to have the banks, um, you know, big enough to handle that credit unions with three, you know, with, with $50 million in deposits are not going to be able to distribute right. these large amounts of funds. So if you're talking about these bondholders who are in the billions and trillions of dollars of value in fiat terms, to even get 1%, you're, it's going to have to come from a huge bank. It's going right. to have to come Now, from so think that's about it. What I said before, they're making money off of this. They want you to exchange. Okay, they're not just saying, oh, let's, get, let's do all this and all this work and pay all these people and, and, and change the bank and put in cubicles and do all this stuff for the people. No, they're not. Okay. That's nice and everything, but um, they're probably going to make a fee on that 1% loan. And if sure. it was me, I'd be like, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Right you yeah. can have a fee for my 1%. Um, and especially if it's somebody who's waiting to pay out people or is waiting on these bonds forever. Right. The, I, they'd probably agree too. Right. Now, so they've got these big banks who, well, I need a billion dollars to pay out, you know, these 1% loans, but we're going to make a boatload of money on right. those short term loans. They'll probably have for about 30 days. Right. We still get our flat fee. You're also going to need the big banks for the individual 1% payouts. So. And there is something about the big banks had to be the ones that could access the treasury account along with you. That your holding account, your large account that can hold millions and millions of dollars. 
it had to be the big banks because think about it. Let's say somebody had a billion dollars in their treasury account and they say, well, I want, I want to buy a shopping center for, you know, $50 million. And turn well, it into little old people's exercise. It has to be a bank that's big enough to handle that kind of transaction. Yep. yep. And now, especially when you can't just make the money, imaginary money through the Fed anymore. It's got to mm -hmm. be real money. They got to have real deposits. And that's why it's got to be the big banks. So yep. something was holding up this big transaction. Pan Pacific is in there somewhere. Um, it was an instrument of some kind. And that's what happened last week. They were waiting on that. That was the stall with the tiers. And now four, tier four has become that transaction or whatever has funded. Good news. Okay. Now, remember, there are different levels of tier four. We're tier four B, but tier four. I was going to write tier four B. I crossed it out because I, I felt like that was an error. I feel like we're just getting into four. I know somebody who's tier four A. So when he or she. Coming close. So that's where we're at. I don't know where that. Um... That cut <clears throat> out. Can you tell me what the difference is between tier four A and tier four B? Tier four A are. Um, Big investors, people who have what they call SKR, safekeeping. Okay. And as part of thirteen, so through the receipt. All right. Well, I didn't get any of that. Maybe another time. Um, uh, Spectrum's messing with you again. I didn't get any of that. You've been breaking up the whole time. Are we back yet, Jen? Yes. Can you see me? Okay. Um, here, let me let me do let me do some. Uh, now I've got a. So anyway, that's it's the the safekeeping receipt people are for it's the four A. Yeah, it's the safekeeping receipt people, and I know one. So when he is gets his SKR funded, I will know about it. So well, he's next. Okay, then it's us. Um. Wow, he'll be pleased to know that. Um. <clears throat> Okay, so other another question. Here's another one that came up for me. Donald Trump will make a call to, in other words, he will decide when to pull out the actor that is Joe Biden. It will be there will be an illness excuse. The plan is to do this in the coming week. The exit is planned and underway. Here's while we've got you on the line in a semi decent state of consciousness here. Um, ha, are they going to, if they pull him out, pull the actor out, let's say it's this week, let's say they pull Biden out this week, the actor that is Biden, um, they have to have somebody to replace him with. So are they going to replace him with a temporary president or are they going to bring the whole thing down and talk about the fraud? And are we going to go into an interim government and have elections in say three months rather than, or are we just going to go to November? Pro, pro tempor or whatever. <laughs> what is it called? I'm gonna do that. Okay. Huh? Okay, so we're gonna do that. Still, the Grassley plan is still there. Okay. That's what I heard just now. Good because I like that better because I don't want to go. You know, here's the thing: if if the RV happened in some way, shape, or form, even if not the full GCR, even if I just got one percent, I. And we went to the election in November. I'd be, I, I could live with that. I'm not happy about it, but I could live with that. But it's much better for the whole world if it all just happens now. Much better. There's something important about having to go to an alternate, um, you know, interim government. Right. Because if you were just to go from candidate to candidate and say, oh, well, we're going to put it back in. 
it really doesn't make the same kind of impact. You can't exactly. really have all the same kind of changes that you want to have. And so that's why we got to get Grassland because he's the one who comes out and says, all right, everybody's dying uh, financially. This is what we're going to do. And he, I think he announces just Sarah. Yeah. You need something earth shattering I'm sorry. I'm sorry. and yeah. Earth shattering and unprecedented to wake people up. Mm -hmm. that's what need. And so that's why it's more important. Code word is boobies. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Okay. Um, code word's yellow. Let's see. Um, over on the rumble side, we have the little red castle. Please be a rumble subscriber. Um, I Jen, I don't know if we have any time. Yeah, I'm getting uh, kind of nauseous. So to tell you the truth. Uh, honestly, guys, I'd love really to. Really don't want to do that on the air. <laughs> I'd love to go through questions. We got to get Jen some Zofran. Jen, give me your address. I'll drop some in the mail for you. I'm not going to take it. I won't take drugs like I'd want. No, to no, it, it just it, all it does is suppress the vomiting reflex, and you just feel fine. Okay. No side effects. You know what? I didn't. Get, I don't have your new address either, so I haven't sent a Christmas gift yet. Oh well. Okay. My Christmas gift to you will be the gift of no nausea. Okay. So. Or we could just decide not to exchange gifts. All right. So, that's guys, nice. that's that's what we got for you, Newswise, today. It's a very short show, less than 15 minutes, 21 minutes. Um, but that's what we've got for you in terms of updating you on the news. Um, I, we just got to give Jen a couple days to get better. I should be a lot better by Wednesday because I'm going to be back on steroids. So. Well, I'm on the Ivan. You know, I do them the stuff. It's just weird. Yeah, but you know, I've been weird. Only, I've been only worked for viruses. If you don't have a, if you got a bacterial infection, something else is not working. You know, something else is making you sick. I don't know. It's probably stupid hormones again. I have no idea. I just feel like crap. <laughs> I don't know. So we're gonna ladies, let it's the menopause, ladies. We're gonna you let Jen go and get about. some rest. Please, please visit our wonderful. Sponsors, the CBD gurus. Guys, also, I had such a wonderful time at the Christmas house with Diana at the Christmas house in, in Boulder City. It was absolutely wonderful. If you're in this area, you got to go up and see it. It's incredible. Uh, and I'm going to be talking to Diana and I'm going to probably try to get her in here on a Thursday show. It's going to be like, a, yeah, it's going to be like an infomercial, but she's got some wonderful products. Barkley, like, absolutely loves mushroom based products. And don't forget to visit the CBD gurus. Um, Specials are on there. Don't forget to be a five dollar a month subscriber on Rumble. Sorry, the show is so so. Sh sorry, the show is so short. But uh, Jen and I both got to get to the doctor, and I got Jen. And I got about twenty phone calls to make before I do that, which I couldn't make until Monday. So thank you guys for being here. We love you. Uh, tomorrow night is the uh, is the guy show, the Power Trio. I'll be back with Blake and Brooks, Toxically Masculine Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, I think I'm going to be doing three podcasts. I'm going to be doing Jan, I'm going to be doing Tom Reed, and I'm going to be doing uh, probably Whiskey and Wisdom, although Mark's traveling. And I don't know. It's going to be a busy week. Love you guys. Try to be back here on uh, Wednesday. Jen, I hope you feel better. We love you. Thanks. Likewise. Thank you for bucking up and coming on today. Because I I, it. a lot of people needed something. And, and again, you always gave them something. You always give us something that we haven't heard before, some other connection. So, Well, if you're going to give, be generous. All right. Love you guys.